Hello everybody and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode series. Today we'll be racing at Dover for the second time of the season. The first track we will be going back for the second time and it is going to be the Dryden 400 once again. Very excited to be back here with the series. I know I took a couple days off but you know things happen I didn't plan for. Uh, but yeah we're back in it. We're ready to go. Uh, getting ready towards that business end of this regular season and after the race at Road America We saw ourselves DNF losing a bit of ground there to Kyle Larson as Chase Elliott got his second win of the season and collected his 12th career win uh winning at the row course there as we go and take a look now at the playoff grid heading on into dover trix jr reddick bowman blaney currently above the cut line with harvick just sitting out with Cindric and suarez and busher as now we're going to be heading into our qualifying session here where are we going to end up we know our qualifying trim is pretty bad coming up off the final corner it is going to be once again a pretty poor lap 24 2 that is going to earn us a 24th place start not ideal at all considering dover is not the easiest track to gain track position looking at the pole here kevin harvick below the cut line on the pole austin Cindric below the cut line starting second so that is going to be interesting as we head into the race here no major announcements going into this one but we are starting to hear a little bit of rumors about the uh extra charter that is uh now gone with stuart haas racing well where is it going to go for next season who is going to be buying that charter as we now also head into the race we have a couple stories here timmy hill not looking too fast today cole custer is looking fast he's starting in the fifth position and on the pole is kevin harvick so not a lot of news there as well as we are now ready to go racing with just six oh well including this race it is going to be seven races left now in the regular season we are underway here at dover what can we do from starting in 24th can it be the sixth win of the season we have a lot of work to do here as we stop alongside chris busher who's coming up a nice second place finish at the uh new hampshire race and then a second place finish at road america so he's had a couple good results lately he's been threatening with speed as we go on our inside of our teammate there chase briscoe get by him to the inside of car bush and by him who is starting pretty deep in the field as we got to make a little bit of contact there with chris busher already off the start felt like he came down on me a little bit there but we go now into turn one and two on lap two we got his teammate just ahead of him now james not on our outside too we're gonna get by him as there's a little bit of a stack up here on the straightaway we block our teammate chase briscoe uh down the back straight away and we get that inside line but we wash up the track now briscoe gonna give us a little bump he was probably not happy with us cutting him off but we get by ty gibbs the both of us now to the inside of chase elliott who won here last time out at dover and he won the last race at road america so can, can elliott use this momentum now to propel himself for another win of course, he is currently third in the regular season and now third on the playoff grid with that win. Ryan Newman now to our inside here as we take a look at the bottom left here. Ryan Blaney in the lead right now. He is currently on a 100 and five race winless streak after the race at road america and there's a lot of rumors whether he will be returning to penske next season considering how much they've struggled his last win came at kentucky in 2020 as now look who's taking the lead from him one of the guys that i spoke about in the playoff picture breakdown aj allmendinger in that 42 car who will not be returning with that team next season he's going to stay aligned with chevrolet i'd assume because he is out at legacy motor club which um, will be taking over richard petty motorsports for next season as we now fall back a couple positions here to the inside of james knight we take a little look here and trying to get past him now but yeah the 42 has been running pretty decent lately collecting lots of top 15s and top 10s showing some speed and leading laps too so can aj allmendinger have another great day and even perhaps win a race and lock himself into the playoffs i did predict that he would in the little video rundown i made a couple laps ago as we skip forward a couple laps here we haven't really gone anywhere we've started 24th but we're currently in 24th now looking at the inside of austin dillon as there is going to be a caution out now on the racetrack i've got absolutely no speed here mate so we're gonna need some uh, wholesale changes to this car no worries aj we'll fix you up and yeah what i am saying is absolutely true we need something to uh, change here in this car we're going to make a wedge adjustment and we're going to take a look at those air pressures as every 
everyone is going to be pitting. No, actually not. Not everybody so far. So it's going to be a split strategy thing. We're coming into pit road. We're going to drop now to 27th as we take a look at the caution. It was Ryan Preece that had a tire go down as we go back. Green flag racing pretty much straight away. But a little bit of split strategy going on right now. It appears that 20th on back came into pit road and the rest stayed out as Tyler Reddick has taken the lead of this race. Currently, he is above the cut line, but only by about 50 points so uh he still hasn't got a win so far in this 45 he's looking to do so this season is now here comes james knight to the inside of myself now as we battle hard here three wide in the middle not where we want to be at all we're going to try and make a run off the corner to get to the inside this is a huge stack up ahead and you can see now that the old tires on further cars ahead are starting to take um, a little bit of an effect in blocking everybody, and that is Michael McDowell in the 34, holding everybody up now, looking to his inside here as we look to the bottom of him and Suarez now blending just ahead too as Reddick continues to lead. You can see Hamrick all the way on that outside. He's dropping back like an absolute rock. Blaney almost going around off our front bumper. He almost made contact with Suarez there, who has had a couple rough last races. Daniel Suarez, that is, as we now get through this corner here. Huge stack up here, and we make a little bit of a contact, a little bit of side swipe with Ryan Blaney. I thought he was going to go to the wall there as we get a little nudge from James Knight going into the corner now. Trying to make a move. Keselowski on the outside as we pull up to the back here. William Byron here little knocked into the back of the 24 after what he did to us last race i'm still not happy with the 24 raptor driver after what happened to us he um he came across us in the corner and we just wiped out completely now as we get by him no he's fighting back to our outside now as we pull up to the back of austin Sindrick. we got daniel suarez to our right now as we come off the corner now kevin harvick the pole sitter right there as we get bumped by kyle bush into Sindrick. Sindrick's gonna go around off our front bumper now he's gonna get tagged around going spinning into turn three he ends up getting collected by justin haley we're gonna take a look at the replay here just a little accordion effect there bush hits us we hit Sindrick, and then he just gets pounded by the 51 there and that is going to bring out the caution and once again i'm looking at going into the pits so once again split strategy there will be drivers pitting drivers staying out since we're not going to get stage points i thought may as well work on the car a little bit more but all the guys that stayed out earlier they have come to pit road and that was about 10 drivers it seems so uh, we have now made our stop for our service here. We're going back racing with only four laps to go in stage one. It is AJ Allmendinger and Ross Chastain on the front row. Two drivers below the cut line now needing wins to get into the playoffs as it currently stands. The one car takes the lead of this race as now we are trying to dig on that outside with their fresh tires as well fixing up a little bit of that damage from bumping the back of the two car and the two car is fine by the way he is continuing this race as we now go three wide off the corner have to get out of the gas so we don't wipe out Bubba Wallace in that 23 McDonald's car um, so he should be moving up the field right now. He's got a bit fresher tires than everyone else. But as you can see, it is an absolute log jam up ahead. They are four wide almost in the corner. We're battling three wide in the middle. Not where you want to be at all. And finally, we're going to get to the bottom lane here in front of Eric Almarola in that 16 car. As Ross Chastain continues to lead, we get past the rookie of Noah Gragson here. Looking to maybe take it four wide here on Timmy Hill. No, I thought better of that. That is not going to work at Dover going into the corner. Not a chance. Kokos on fire. I don't think so. He's over here in the 30s right now. He's got Larson back here with us, so he is not going to get any stage points. He's not going to gain anything of us in terms of the regular season. And uh, we uh, keep that position over him right now, just currently babying the throttle. Obviously, since we had such fresh ties and we came in so uh, recent, that we're probably going to stay out at the end of this stage here. So just kind of try and take care of the tires as much as possible so we now get past priest timmy hill run up to the back of matt benedetto in that 55 playstation toy Auto car as we're now going to go to the inside of him larson gets around us but it is going to be ross chastain winning stage number one here at dover as we got a little bit of scrolling to do to get to the top 10 in the stage we have bell getting points trish jr omen dinger as well with uh chris busher getting himself fifth hamlin brisk Suarez, Kozlowski, and Byron round out your top 10. That's the uh, stage point getters of this stage. And you can see everybody's going to be coming to pit road. Well, I've got a little bit of strategy to play, a little bit of strategy up my sleeve. 
Are we going to pit? Well, I'm thinking maybe it could be just a stay out or a fuel only angle, but considering, you know, how many laps we're going to get extra on pit road, I thought, nah, screw it. Let's stay out. Plus 26 positions from 27th to 1st. Is this going to be a mistake that is going to cost us dearly? Will we get ran over and wrecked? Well, we'll have to find out here as we go green flag racing once again here from Dover. Let's try and lead some laps here and get away from the rest of the field. Getting a huge launch off of the restart here on that number one. He hit the apron though going into the corner. But you can see already as we come through uh, out of turn number two, there is a huge run coming from that number one on the back straightaway. So looking right now to just run away as much as we can and let the field spread out a little bit and try gain some track position of course everyone is going to have to pit once here in this stage so now bell looks to the inside of chastain we continue to lead here we get a lap led which is quite nice it's now bell to the inside of the one car of chastain can he get up here in the mix and battle for the lead? We're going to shut the door on him going into the corner and uh, continue to block for that lead. Bell trying to make a run at it as Chastain's now looking to the outside. Can he get a run as well? Coming up off the corner, we're going to lead yet another lap, but the 20 and the 1 are all over us. They are much faster, and as we go into the corner here, you can see the speed difference of the one car. is going to get to our outside here. We're going to have to get out of the throttle almost. No, we make a little bit of contact here. Nothing wrong with a little bit of contact here. But now to the inside, uh, we go once again trying to dive it. Well, Chris Busher is going to give us a little bit of a shot there through the corner. And that's going to make us make contact as we get out of the corner. Three wide is not going to work. And eventually, it is going to be Bell and I that give in to Ross Chastain, who takes the lead of this race once again. So can Chastain continue this kind of speed that is going to win him a race and lock himself in the playoffs? Well, here comes his teammate, Daniel Suarez. Now as we go into the corner, William Byron's going to go straight. We go into the wall, hitting Truex as well. We go hard. Hard into the outside wall. Danny Hamlin gets involved as well. And that was just completely uncalled for. The 24 did exactly what he did last race. He just went straight and turned us. Uh, I'm not sure what the fucking deal with that 24 is. But just know if I get to him, I'm turning him. Okay, calm down, dude. There's plenty more racing left in this one. And you can get him back at any time. Yeah, just keep it in the memory bank. And let's just refocus right now on what we got going on. So once again, it is William Byron driving over the 24 that almost wipes us out. Two races in a row as we go back. Green flag racing. We were the only car that came down pit road. Of course, we have to fix that damage. But... Uh, yeah, absolutely losing it behind the wheel now of our number 10 Spotify Ford Mustang. Uh, and now it's going to be a little bit of a game here because we should be able to make it to the end of this stage on the current tire set and fuel that we have. So we could end up in a situation where we lap the whole field a couple times and uh, make our way to the front that way. So we could have uh, been blessed here in disguise by the 24, but of course, that is going to have to involve everything else going right for us. No other cautions and uh, no other incidences that are going to um, disturb this strategy now. But yeah, you're going to have to take it easy getting through the field. It's not going to be easy to be patient, but if we take care of our stuff, we should be able to make it to the end of the stage and hopefully lap a lot of drivers and force them into a wave around and yeah that might be the way to go about this one here as Chastain continues to lead now in that one car and going back to my point I was making earlier before the accident we had Daniel Suarez ran really well here in the earlier race this season he finished top five uh, was threatening for the lead late with uh, Chase Elliott there in that number nine uh, eventually Chase Elliott did get the win but uh, we saw uh, both Suarez and Chastain run there in the top five. Chastain's been leading laps. He won stage one, currently leading here in stage two. So what can that one car uh, do? Can he win as we make a little bit of contact here with Ryan Priest, who we thought we could just get on the bottom of him there. And yeah, just didn't judge that speed correctly. But we still get by him. We don't want to cause a caution. So ideally, we do not hit the uh, 38. And once again, yeah, you saw with the pit strategy before, you probably thought, oh, Cole Costa just got screwed up with pit strategy. He is still back here in 30th. I don't know what's going with, with going on with him. Just a terrible year for the uh, 41 driver so far. He's currently, like, 30th in points. Yeah, not looking good for him. And now, Sweden so not looking good for current drivers. Harrison Burton, we get by him. Of course, he's not going to be here next season. He'll be back in the Xfinity series. Now to the back of Demetadetto, who's also having a down year as well in that Sony PlayStation Toyota. And we passed Austin Cindric before, who had that early accident. Seems like uh, they haven't really fixed that number two car up fully. He is currently struggling. He came into this race about 
was it 17 or 19 points uh, out of the cut line? Well, a run like this is definitely not going to help considering we have other drivers getting stage points. Getting by the 43 car now who's had a terrible year as well. And the 3 car has also had a terrible year. So the current guys that are running back here are also been doing pretty poor so far in the season. But cutting ahead now, uh, quite a few laps because the pit road sequence is beginning. Ah, fantastic. A caution because that is what... Hey, the doctor ordered, you know, we needed a caution during the middle of pit cycle. I was going to stay out, lap everyone, win a stage, get another playoff point. But no, why would we want that? No, why would we want everything to work out for us? Um, I mean, it did work for us in Atlanta a couple times and gifted us a win. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, today just is an out day, it seems. But yeah, everybody coming to pit road that didn't make their stop there and everyone that did make their stop staying out so uh, it has jumbled the field a little bit in terms of uh, track position now and it's gifted the 24 of William Byron the lead of this race so I'm not too happy about that if I am honest now but we are starting now on the outside of Larson uh, back here in 24th place once again so right back where we started so the five cars having an off day and so are we so thankfully both of us are going to miss out on stage points today we just got to try and finish uh, better than the fives now we get to the back of Kevin Harvick of course the guy that is the reason we are going to be leaving this team at the end of the year we will not have this number 10 car at all going into next season and uh, we still haven't found a home yet but uh, there are rumors of course, we addressed them a couple eps ago in the update. Uh, we have got offers from all the top teams, pretty much. Any team will take us. We are second in the regular season standings. We have like 13 wins in the last two uh, seasons. So, uh, yeah, we definitely have found something here at uh, Ford and in this number 10 Stuart Haas racing car that will be Stuart Haas Harvick next year. So, uh, yeah, and we're just going to try and uh, just see how this goes, uh, weigh up the best options for uh, what we want to go with next season. But, yeah, expect an announcement uh, coming within a few episodes. And right now, up ahead, there is a massive wad of cars. I don't know what happened on pit road, who was on pit road that benefited uh, from everyone else having to pit, but they were causing a huge stack up there as finally stage two comes to an end. William Byron wins that one uh, with Cole Custer. We were just talking a lot of crap about him before. Well, he gets second. We've got Bubba in third, Haley fourth, uh, Bell, Keselowski, Busher, Chastain, Suarez, and Gibbs. So it looks like the RFK cars are pretty fast, and so are the Trackhouse cars as well. So will we see a driver currently outside of that grid? win today's race we haven't seen many laps led by uh current drivers in the playoffs so uh it is going to be interesting here you can also tell the uh hendrick cars have kind of missed on it today we got elliot just ahead of us bowman's just ahead on that outside larson's been back here yeah the hendrick cars have missed on it except for william byron of course we had a run in with him before but on the pit road custer jumps ahead so he currently leads this race and wow if cole custer won a race well he will absolutely blow up the playoff grid from like 30th in points right now so battling hard now on the start of stage three it is going to be a 28 lap stage so quite a lot of time here and it is going to be at least one pit stop here uh, i don't think we will need two at all and knowing the game there will be cautions now larson's gonna force a five wide i thought we were clear for a second but no we make a little bit of contact with elliot and now it is the top three in the regular season points currently battling it out in 18th 19th and 20th yeah fantastic showing guys we're doing really well for the sport right now the best three drivers this season just chilling out here in the mid uh well the late teens uh, as now we're going to get by both of them here. So making up as much ground as we can on those guys. As William Byron once again taking the lead of this race. He's looking for his second win of the season. He won back at Auto Club. Uh, that was the fifth race of the season, I believe. So now we pull up to the back of Hamlin and Bowman over here in 16th and 17th. Ryan Newman in the top 15. He's having a nice little run. As you can see now, there is a car blocking that middle lane. It is Justin Haley. There's a huge wad right now. Four wide. Newman's going to take him uh, with Haley, Bubba Wallace. That's Keselowski up there. Reddick's in the mix. Gee, it is a whole mess right now. So we hit the apron. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now as Custer's holding up that outside line as well. There's a mix of drivers that do not have good cars uh, currently with track position. And as you can see, it's causing a, uh, an accordion effect as now we get by a couple of those cars now to the inside of Tyler Reddick in that 45. Denny Hamlin's giving us a little bit of back shots there, causing a little bit of damage. Then we now hit the apron as Chris Busher 
has taken the lead now in that RFK number 17 car. We said that have pace before. He's gotten stage points in both stages, Chris Buescher, and of course the last couple races, he has come out with top fives, two second place finishes. He is currently on a 249 race winless streak. His only career win coming at Pocono in 2016, a rain shortened race with strategy. Can it be the 17's day today? Of course, his job is under threat right now. RFK have offered for me, it could be that 17 car that would be get uh, be mine next season and Chris Buescher getting kicked to the curb. Well, if he wins, it'll put all sorts of rumors to rest now as he's having a career year right now in terms of points. Now to the inside of Ty Gibbs though, trying to get ourselves into the top 10 and we're doing a pretty decent job until we wash up the track now in a monster sandwich here. Do not want to be in that as we get uh, Tyler Reddick to our inside. He gets by us. He's having a nice solid run. He just needs to continue getting points that 45 car uh, because uh, if he has a bad day then all those guys that are currently below the cut line will cap uh capture will capture will catch up to him gee that, that is not english not very good english from me anyway uh now we got hamlin over the back of us uh bowman fighting to our outside we got elliot up here uh, we do not have speed right now guys it has been a struggle and i thought maybe we could get into the top 10 but quickly we saw that is not going to be uh feasible as now joe logano is all over our back bumper he's going to make a move to the inside and we continue to drop like a rock here uh throughout the start starting laps of the stage three towards the end now of our fuel when we try to cut down back to the bottom but cole custer is uh taking that spot now omendinger gets by us here comes blaney and justin haley who's having a nice top top 20 top 20 run no just outside the top 20 run yeah uh we got larson and haley battling for a spot here at dover that is uh, kind of wild now but as you can see on the uh car status we have only six laps left here of uh, uh, fuel, so it's going to be us making a stop soon as Larson just boosts us up the track into the side of Blaney. Uh, not what I intended to do there, but yeah, Larson get a little bit physical as we are just taking back shots from multiple drivers today. Uh, we do not have the speed, once again, I will reiterate. So, uh, a lots of struggles going on here at Dover. Uh, just trying to limit uh, damage right now. Of course, Elliot, a few spots ahead of myself and Larson. None of us got stage points today. Uh, so he's trying to currently uh, uh, dig that little lead that we have over him back up. And, well, he started pretty good at Road America. I'm pretty sure he swept the stages as well. So max points for him. Larson and I did not have uh, particularly great days. As uh, Busher continues to lead, he's leading lots of laps. And uh, things are starting to look good for that 17 driver. But now we have hit the point in the laps here. It is 17 laps to go. And this is going to be, from here, the Max, we can run on a green flag tank. We almost get ran over by Eric Jones, but it is going to be time for us to come pit. Pitting under green at Dover, it's not easy to get down to 35 miles an hour. But my thoughts here, yeah, we're going to cross the line. It'll be 16 to go. We'll have estimated 16 laps of fuel. It is time to short pit, and let's uh, see if we can get some track position on fresh tires because that's the only way we're really going to gain anything out of today's race is if we play a little bit of strategy, of course, Going to pit road here at Dover is going to put you down two laps, but everyone will be coming in the next couple, so we're just going to hope that we do not have a caution that is going to screw things up for us. But yeah, happy with the setup we have now going into the pit stop here. I'm going to spit, uh, skip the pit stop content here, of course, dropping a 15.1 here, and you can see uh, only a couple cars now on the racetrack still. Everybody else following me straight into pit road, so where are we going to come out? That is the question. Where will we cycle? Will we have the speed to keep it? Will we have another caution in this race? What is going to happen? And hopefully the caution does not come out right now because we will be absolutely screwed. As you see the last couple cars coming to pit road, it would be Blaney and Cole Custer. But skipping forward here, a couple laps. Yeah, we cycled out in P14. So a net gain for us. We just fell outside the top 20 before we came to pit road. So up six positions now. And now battling with Chase Elliott uh, currently uh, for 13th. So uh, not too shabby for us, but coming out of the pit road cycle it is chris busher that continues to lead so uh come into the line for him now to 11 laps to go can he hold on and well will he deal with all this lap traffic ahead of him as well as we are just all over the apron that nine car is holding us down pretty well we cannot get a run up off the corner it is so hard to make a pass here at dover if your car is just not 
you know, a whole huge heap better than the other drivers now as we try to get a run up off the corner. And it's just not working for us right now. Of course, we are lacking that uh, critical speed. Uh, we got AJ Allmendinger right behind us. Uh, he's having a good run once again. Of course, he led laps early uh, in this race, and uh, he's up here in the top 15. So continuing that little bit of momentum in that Wendy's number 42 Chevrolet as we have a car still on the track. And it's Cole Custer. So whenever this guy seems to run decent, he just has something go wrong. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of an abrupt cut there. But, yeah, Cole Custer was running over there in the top 20. And now he's uh, going to be going to the back of the pack here. 31st, we have a few cars a lap down. And uh, Matt Benedetto is out of the race. I think he might have been that caution we saw before uh, that... I didn't show a replay for it must have been him uh, having a catastrophic failure or it happened during a pit road cycle but uh everyone else is going to be staying out except myself and cole custer Corey lajoy gets the free pass i'm gonna play a little bit of strategy here we lose 16 spots but there should be a long enough run to where we can make up some spots here it's going to be six laps to go chris busher 249 races winless versus Daniel Suarez. Two guys outside of the playoffs right now. Can they win and get themselves in? Or will it be a driver like William Byron getting their uh, second win of the season now? As we're trying to get to the inside of Kevin Harvick, he's actually going to block to the bottom here. As we now go middle three wide with Austin Cindric. We have the fresher tires. And uh, our tires are about five laps fresher so we should be able to make up uh what we lost there on pit road we were 14th uh before the fact so we'll see if we can get back up there as now we take stenhouse and harvick three wide but it is chris busher in that number 17 fastenal ford mustang for rfk that has gotten the jump on suarez and he has gotten clear by a good couple car lengths i think that is actually william byron now in second place of course byron has speed he won stage two so can busher run away and lock himself into the playoffs breaking that huge winless streak with a win today at dover it'll be a huge point proven in terms of his job being under threat right now by myself possibly coming to rfk and of course uh him just not having won in a while it's gonna uh show quite a big uh point proven to the and also a testament to what keselowski has been able to do for this team this season of course keselowski got a win and uh now busher looking to add himself to the winners list this season as well we are up in the top 20 to the back of kyle larson so if we can make a gain here on the uh current regular season points leader it is going to have to be now here we're running with larson bowman and elliott over here in the uh late teens once again and it is William Byron trying to chase down Chris Buescher, who now has two laps to go. All he has to do is see the white flag, and things will be official. It looks like he has enough gap on the 24 car as we now take uh, Larson and Bowman's positions here. Now to the inside of Chase Elliott over here for P16. Can we get up there? It's not going to be quite what we uh, had before the pit stops. But now Chris Buescher is going to come across the line. White flag is in there here. Over. There's a car on the wall up ahead. Is That is going to bring out the caution is Chase Briscoe who has problems and that is going to be Chris Busher getting his second career win breaking that huge winless streak and that is going to be 15th place for us as we took at the take a look at the race results here from Dover Byron ends up second Chastain third the guys that won stages uh today Reddick in the top five with Daniel Suarez so there you go Reddick continues his good runs Suarez with a bounce back Bell, Hamlin, Kozlowski, Newman with a nice run, and Trix round out your top 10. Then look at the rest of the uh, race results here. we got Logano just outside the top 20. Custer with a little bit of a bad break after earlier. Briscoe ends up last car on the lead lap due to uh, what just happened to him there. And Matt Benedetto, the sole DNF. In terms of the regular points, season standings, we are 34 behind Kyle Larson as Elliott gains a little bit on us as well. Now looking at the playoff grid after Dover today, Busher has locked himself in as the 11th seed currently with Trex 1-4-3 three above the cut line reddick 56 and then bowman not safe at all currently plus 17 with blaney falling a little bit further back on the cut line harvick now 33 out suarez 36 out he makes a gain and then cindric loses a lot after a poor showing as that is going to be today's action here at dover wrapped up done and dusted next race will be pocono for the first uh 
well, for the only race of Pocono this season, before we had double headers, well, the double headers are no more. So the Gander Outdoors 400 is what will be next, the Tricky Triangle, as I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Sorry for the wait once again. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next episode at Pocono.